What is that, Bandit? What is that, Bandit? Is that a squirrel? You gonna get that squirrel? Huh? Bandit? You gonna get that squirrel? Where is he? Huh? I don't see him. I don't see him. Do you see him, Bandit? Bandit, you see that squirrel? Yeah, Papa, I see that squirrel. I want to get him. Well, get him. Well, get him. Well, come on. Get up there. Climb that tree. Get up there. But, but Papa, I, I can't climb this tree. And I don't have wings. So, okay, forget it. Well, hi, friends. Papa Dale here. Today, Bandit and I... Hello, Bandit. Come here. Come here, Bandit. Bandit, come. Say hi. Hi, everybody. I'm the Bandit. We're going for a walk. Hey, that was my news. I was going to tell him. Well, I got to him first, so I'm sorry. Too bad. Okay, well, anyway, that's the Bandit saying hello. And today, we're going to go for a walk around Horseshoe Lake. It's a small lake in, obviously, the shape of a horseshoe. And uh, it's got a lot of lake weed in it. And it's got ducks in it. And it's got trout in it. And catfish. And uh, bass. And uh, all kinds of interesting wildlife around it. Maybe we'll see some of it. But uh, right now we're starting off right here at Windy Beach. Which is a beach on Clear Lake. And it's a beautiful beach. Uh, it's a very serene day, uh, very little wind, nice sunshine, not too hot, maybe 75 degrees. And uh, this is where we start. Is the beginning of Horseshoe Lake. This end of the lake is, is uh, kind of... Uh, pear-shaped, I guess you might say. So this is the balloon at the end of that first leg. I don't know if you can see, but the water is filled with lake weed and algae and looks pretty dirty. I might eat a catfish that I would catch out of this, but I wouldn't eat a trout. I've, I've caught trout out of this lake before, but I've tossed them back. It just, uh, just looks too mucky to me. Oh, look at these geese. You see them here? Pretty good size goose right there. Great big old gander. I guess drake. I think they're called drakes and gander. And there go the ducks. And Bandit thinks he's supposed to chase him. What's up with you, Bandit? Oh, Papa, let me go. I want to go get those ducks. I want to go get those ducks, Papa. Well, well, how come they went out there? I wanted to go get them. I wanted to bite them. Well, that's why they went out there. Bandit got stuck. Come on, stay with me. Come, come. There you go. <laughs> It's basically just a pontoon, like uh, a float out in the lake that's attached to a walkway. You can walk right out on. I've fished off of this dock before, and I've caught fish off of this dock before. 
spend some reasonable amount of time here. So that's the other leg of the horseshoe that we are going to walk around and then we'll come up the path on the other side. Bandit, do you keep getting me wrapped up in your leash? Do you care? No, Papa, I, I don't really care. No, no, I don't. <sighs> A couple weeks ago, Bandit and I were out here walking and right about in here there were uh, about a dozen giant catfish that uh, I don't know why but they came right up to the surface and they were just kind of kind of floating maybe three inches below the surface and every once in a while they would come right up to the top and you'd see the dorsal fin break the water and when I say giant, I mean giant. These are some of the biggest catfish in Washington anyway that I ever saw. Uh, excuse me, not some of the biggest, they were the biggest. And I know fishermen lie and or exaggerate, but these cotton picking things were at least three feet long and broad across the back, probably hmm, maybe six inches broad across the back. I'll put in a little clip of what I got that day. Catfish. scary up here huh yeah you don't like it so much up here it's okay we're just getting some video hi papa but i don't like it up here this is scaring me well it's gonna be okay i promise i won't let you fall yeah you better not let me fall if you let me fall i might have to bite you what you'd bite the papa you can't bite the hand that feeds you well, then don't you let me fall. All right, I won't let you fall. <laughs> you see those ducks, Bandit? You see those ducks? They're not very afraid of you, Bandit. Ah, oh, Papa, I'm going to bite them. Then they'll be afraid of me. No, you don't bite them. We don't bite ducks. Well, but Papa, I'm, I'm, I'm bandit the bad and I can get them. Yeah, I know. I know you think you can. Hi. No worries. You got your leash. That's good. Well, that little, uh, that little episode running into other hikers that have dogs and their dogs were not on the leash is exactly why I carry this walking stick. I used to carry just a uh, kind of a trekking pole, one of those aluminum poles that collapse and, and you can make it whatever size you want to. And this is a dandelion puller from when I had my sticks and bricks and I had a yard to take care of. Had it in my uh, storage shed and thought, man, that would make a great, thought, man, that would make a great uh, walking stick. Now I also often will carry uh, bear spray. 
never had to use the bear spray but uh, I will carry it in particularly when I not go hiking here but when I particularly when I go hiking in uh, wilder areas and more unfamiliar don't know what I might encounter Well, that's it. That's it, friends. That's Horseshoe Lake. We're back where we started from. And we got to go back up the hill that we came down to begin the trek around the lake. And, raw, and on the other side of this hill is Clear Lake. They can't be more than... Uh, hundred feet apart hi nice day for a walk there you go Oh, here's the guy that's been growing his beard longer than me. <laughs> I'm four years worth. I got about ten. Yeah, all right. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm trying to catch you. I've had this on video before. But you'd have to go back, way back, 150 videos or so, to find it. And this is a madrona tree that has made itself a parasite on this Douglas fir. Very, very interesting. It's a uh, parasitic relationship. And we go up the hill to Papa's place. And look how steep that hill is. It's not as steep as Lone Tree Peak. <laughs> but it's But it's pretty steep, <laughs> especially after a long walk, and I'm tired and uh, out of energy. And here we are. There is the tracker and there is the Millennium Falcon and the boat and the pickup and the boat trailer the wood pile, junk wood pile, building wood pile, and the wood stove and the burning wood pile. And Papa's place. <laughs>
Now it's time to give Banded something to eat and get Papa something to drink and take a nap. Yabba dabba doo! <laughs> What's next?